Alright guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make a pickup item and have that add to the inventory. So first, we're going to you want to go back to your inventory script and if you have that line of code just uh dash those out so uh we can test this script. And then uh what we're going to be adding to this is on trigger enter. So when the player collides with this object, we are going to add to our inventory. So pretty much what this code does is it checks the inventory script right here that we have our inventory in. And then it check or it adds to the inventory array in the first slot. So inventory array. And you want to make any variable that you want to transfer to any other script a static object. So yeah, so pretty much when the player collides with this object, it'll add to the array and then it will destroy itself so the player can't pick it up anymore. So it's pretty much a one-time pickup item. So the next thing we'll want to do is create a cube. Now I tried doing this with the cubes that have the physics on them, but I forgot that trigger disables the physics so they fall through, which is something we don't want to happen. So I'm going to have to figure that out for a different tutorial, how to get physics and have it be a pickup item as well. I'm guessing I can just attach a trigger around the physics object, or do something that manner. But for this we'll just uh, use this. So set is trigger and then what we want to do is make this a pickup item. So you see here it's set for one and two but if we walk over it our health potion went up by one. So I mean you can scatter these around or do whatever you want with them. In uh, later tutorials, I am going to talk about how to actually scroll through this menu and select different items and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll work on a more complex inventory system. We can add a description to each item. So when we scroll through, it can tell us exactly what the item is. And then we'll be able to uh, use that item as well if we wanted to. So this is just another basic tutorial how to set up an inventory system and how to pick up uh, items around your scene. So I don't know what I'm going to be doing if I'm going to figure out how to, uh, how to make it so you can pick up these boxes as well. Because it's kind of weird when you're working with physics as well. But yeah, stay tuned for uh, later tutorials.